Leos, if you'd like to have a seat and join me for some symbolic support. Well, I'll do your personalized zodiac sign Rorschach coming up for October, but in between I'm just going to use some oracle scrolls for some in-between divination. All right, if you'd like to close your eyes, release the race and the rush, and ignite a meditative state inspired by Leo. Hmm. Opening up to perceive and receive symbolic support. When you're ready, open the eyes, and we'll see what scrolls have come out. So we have that one. One. Oh, and you have two over here. All right, Leos. Some old school scrying here. I'm gonna dig in if you don't mind. No, they're fine there. Okay. Uh, Leos, some sort of genie in a bottle. Somebody might be a scientist of some sort, spiritual or uh, surface science or infusing water, amethyst water. Maybe that could be helpful, Leo's, at this time. Higher power provider. <laughs> it's a weird way to say that, but that came out that way. Could also be a wine. Wine, grapes, torque. I admit those are things I don't know a whole lot about. What are those guys up there? Uh, hmm, I don't know what they are. I might come back, but they do have silver leaves or a silver leaf. Those little guys up here. Oh, I think they're like tightening the cap. So it doesn't matter what they are that I'm seeing them. They like tighten the cap or recork. And the interesting thing is, is that as these beings outside of it are like tightening the cork, there's inner beings that are smaller that are helping them from the inside out. Uh, something about frogs. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie here, Leos. I feel like something just took, took a crap. Like, oh, that didn't work out. But I feel like it not working out is going to work in the favor of something else. Like there's a reason why that didn't work out. Like something just took crap. Because uh, there's minnows up here. So if something came out of it, you just might not be able to see it yet. I want to flip this bad boy. Uh, the Leos, okay. Uh, something about a snail, something slow moving, but the snail has a trident crown. Something about the emotional caves, emotional caves, Leo. And I see like arms crossed. Mm. Could be in regards to whatever didn't work out. Some didn't work out. Personal, professional, it is what it is. I don't know if those are... I'm seeing those as like turtles. But there's another... Uh, I don't know if it's a shark or a baby shark. Uh, they're swimming away from the ears. S swimming away from the ears. That feels really weird. So I'm going to just take a moment. Hmm. I 
feel like somebody might have like taken a bite out of out of you by saying something to you and it was just like oh maybe, again maybe it's that took a crap thing I don't know and now I just saw them change into if you were gonna go what is that term like mountain climbing or rep repelling repelling and you would throw or clip in a hook so you could do something else like a, a repel go at a, at a different elevation okay so the turtle is asking me to say that when you decide to hook into something else even if it's something someone said to you like an opinion advice wisdom or non-wisdom or a weapon hidden in a wisdom or a wisdom hidden as a weapon the turtle is asking me to like at that repelling hook hook into the earth or the side of the mountain make sure it's strong before you commit to it so when you repel or maybe you have to swing or something you're good you're good because this snail is really coming about saying slow and steady slow and steady in this realm uh whatever you're working towards There's a very, very furry, long-haired bison, bison, or uh, mountain goat. Okay, I, I can't speak, okay, bison or billy goat, and that may mean something to somebody. In this repelling, and I'm going to follow the goat, this mountain goat feel, but it's old. So you might be drawing in some Capricorn energy, uh, Leos, because you can appreciate the skill set to climb these landscapes. So it's just like you're drawing in a little Capricorn juju and you're like, thank you. And then there's some, so, okay, your ink is changing in the moment. Where the snail is with the, the trident crown. Now these guys are turning into a polar bear. Something about hibernation. And they are very protective over something. And they're protective over this snail. I don't know. Maybe if somebody feels like a, a spiritual snail. Like just very slow moving. Uh, but there's... Because um, I feel like you're working in two realms at the same time that's all like one element might be a little bit more slow moving but another element like the snail but then when i wander up to the goat energy it's a little quicker and it's ta 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 Whew, okay leos <laughs> yeah this is about like actually the way i want to see it is all this different terrain right all the different terrains Something about um, the polar bear, it just uh, when one is in full focus, the other one kind of goes into this little hibernation mode to re-nurture. That's all. I don't feel like it's of any concern, Leos. Because to have them both on at the same time uh, can deplete you really quickly. So it's like you'll be like, zzz, zoom. So there is this. If something has disappointed you or didn't work out or took a crap, you can like, okay, that's fine. Nurture this, but I'm going to shift my focus while this is healing and deciding how I'm going to proceed or do. But I'm going to shift my focus over here uh, so I can get some other work done. And when I come back here, this should be ready to go. It's like that whole science, science experiment up here. All right. Okay. Leos, I feel like I yammered on quite a long time but i appreciate you being with me like share subscribe feel free to buy me a coffee and hopefully you're enjoying this symbolic story on the bottom watchers transpersonal 
oh yeah, there's that mountain repelling thing. I feel like somebody might be a risk taker. So that's more of their comfort zone to be in like this goat energy. And then for other people, you refer like refer prefer just to like repel down like a I'm seeing it in like one of those gymnasiums or studios where you can safely climb mountains and you know someone's holding the string at the bottom so there's a little bit of a reservation so you might be more comfortable in the snail area but this is about both and it's going to work out there's a shiny 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 your science experiment will work out don't worry about the disappointments. Yeah. Disown. Don't worry about the disappointments. They serve something. As any of the leaves fall, as any disappointments come and go, they will land and disintegrate to become nutrients of sorts for, for the landscapes that you're going to tread. Leo's, the universe is in your hand. I got the whole world in my hand. Oh, you might be carrying something on your back for the collective. You might be on like a secret mission. This is an earthly mission, fall, fall season. Mm, fall. Oh. Fallen angel. Spiritual narcolepsy. Oh, look at that. And on the bottom now is Willow of the Wisp. Hidden in the shadows. Makes me feel like that whole secret mission thing. Or maybe you're doing something on the sly and not everyone knows about it. Ooh, uh, Celtic knots might have some meaning to you. And if at any point in time, maybe it's in the whole snail thing, you felt, again, spiritually slow, like a spiritual narcolepsy. I think you're climbing really high, slowly but surely, so that when you do rappel down or decide to, uh, like I see, like a flying squirrel suit, it, you'll, like this fallen angel feel, like you've, and when you land back on the earth, you'll be like renewed you'd be like yes i fell from the heavens to and i'm here to help you humans <laughs> fellow humans a humbleness right there's the humbleness but the story unfolding feels very steady let disappointments disintegrate climb slowly but surely use your resources you might have a secret mission. And whenever you decide to repel down, whatever you decide to hook into, advice, anything, make sure it's strong, like the turtle's back. Make sure it's strong and helps your holistic home so that when you decide to glide, I hear that song, Ticket to Ride. I think that's it. Okay, anyway. All right, thank you so much, Leos, and until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.